What up, y'all? It's your boy Hillbilly Willie coming at you here live from Few Dudes Reviews. That's right, and today I'm flying solo. It's just old Hillbilly Willie on a review. And let me tell you guys, I'm going to interview something that's very near and dear to me. Something that's very close to my heart. Something that really gets my fire burning, if y'all know what I'm talking about. There's only one thing that does it like this, baby. And I'm talking about beer. Amen, brothers and sisters. Today I've got a solid gold premium lager made by Founders Brewing Company. Now, Founders Brewing Company is out of Michigan, I do believe. Yeah, they're out of Michigan. Okay. Now, this lager is 4.4 ABV alcohol by volume. So it weighs in at a 4.4, fairly low. And it is a 20 IBU. Now, the IBU, for those who don't know, is the International Bitterness Unit. So it is a little bit bitter. It is kind of low on the alcohol side. I mean, that's about your standard lager, four to five point. You know, that's that's about average. So without any further ado, let's crack this bad boy, shall we? Founders Brewing. As you guys know, I'm already a fan. Two of my favorites that Founders makes before I crack this, I'll let you guys know. Gotta love the breakfast stout, if you're a stout drinker. Also, Gotta love the Centennial IPA. Now, that's a hell of an IPA. Anyway, do note to both of those. Cheers, ladies and gents. Hmm, let's see. Ooh, it smells good. Now, it's solid gold. Solid gold. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. See, it's crisp. It's definitely kind of got that hoppy to it. You know, it's definitely, you can taste the hops in that. It's not as malty as I'd expected. Like, most of your domestic average lagers are a little maltier. You can taste the malt more than the hops. This is a little more hop forward. This solid gold is. Um, very crisp. Definitely glad I got it ice, ice cold before I cracked it. It seems like if it was kind of warm, it would be something that I wouldn't be as into. Um... Hmm. Oh, yeah. I would have to say it's pretty daggone good. Hillbilly Willie says, For an average style beer, made by a craft beer company, who usually is a little more outlandish with their ales, this is probably a solid 8 out of 10. Founders Solid Gold is probably a solid 8 out of 10, I would say. Now, I found this in my neck of the woods at Drug Emporium, the drugstore, and uh, it was about $15 or maybe $16 for a 15-pack. So we're averaging about a dollar a beer here. Um, not too bad, I don't think, for what it is, actually. Very good, very clean, very crisp. Uh, on the hinge of something close maybe to a Heineken, but a little lighter. Um, definitely better than Miller High Life, which is one of my old standbys, or definitely better than the cheap old hams. <laughs> anyway, Hillbilly Willie, real quick, is going to run away, and I'm going to show you guys the color of this beer. So hang on right there. All right, all right, all right, I'm back, I'm back. I just want to show you guys, before I'm done with this video, the coloration of an ale that is called Solid Gold. That's right, as you see, West Virginia Strong, I'm using my Mothman glass. But yeah, look at that. It is Solid Gold, isn't it? I mean, wow. It's definitely got a good aroma to it, too. Tasty ale. Cheers to everybody at home. Please give us a like, share, and follow at Few Dudes Reviews. We will review anything. Peace, love, and chicken grease, y'all. It's Hillbilly Willie, signing out.